They're going to want to keep an eye on him. They're going to keep chasing this guy. They want him to stop. So again, this started out as possibly a DUI stop, but now we're learning more that this is possibly or more likely a uh, armed an armed robbery suspect that they're chasing. Again, we're on Ventura Boulevard. We're heading westbound right now. If I can get you a major here in a moment or two, but I can tell you we are very close to the uh, excuse me to the Warner Center area. So uh, he's been uh, he's been basically driving, making making major blocks out here. That's a, uh, the target that we just drove by there on uh, on Ventura Boulevard. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, but uh, but yes, he's been. He's, uh, you can see he's uh, keeping uh, pretty decent speeds. We just passed through DeSoto right there. Uh, again, uh, LAPD keeping their distance, but they are actually trying to put a plan together to get this guy to stop. Unusually light traffic out here also this evening, even though this is New Year's Eve. But again, if you are out or know anybody that might be out in this area, kind of give them a heads up that there's a pursuit. This guy, you don't know what he's going to do to try to get away. And again, originally wanted for DUI, so possibly there was some sort of a rat driving there. Uh, mm. Just blew through a fresh red light. You saw that right there. Stale red light. Didn't even see the brakes coming on at all. He's picking up a little bit of speed out here as we approach Topanga Canyon, uh, Topanga Canyon Boulevard. Again, you can see that uh, traffic kind of light, but this guy really picking up his speeds out here as he's trying to get away from LAPD. Yeah, Stu, so he's moving at a pretty good rate now. It seems like he's speeding up. Has this uh, Was this at any point on the 101, or was he just uh, staying on surface streets there in the valley? You know, he, he has been on surface streets that entire time using the center lane right there. Uh, a, a very ballsy move. He's passing vehicles in, in, in many different uh, in different ways out here. Again, LAPD staying behind him. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. On the 101, he's getting on the 101 freeway. You, you can see he just made a little fishtail right there as he hit that turn so fast. But again, LAPD staying with him. This is going to be eastbound 101. Again, uh, you, you see the LAPD helicopter right there putting his light on him. Again, he's got on the freeway now. This guy not giving up, not wanting to stop, hasn't even shown any signs of slowing at all as he's making his move here, trying to keep away from LAPD. Yeah, Stu, he seems to be moving uh, pretty fast now. Any idea how quick he's moving? He's blowing by a few cars there on the 101, and as you said, the roads are uh, very empty. Most people, I think, are at their New Year's Eve parties at this point. Yeah, you know, and, and that's a good thing for anybody that might be on the road out here. I'm looking up ahead. You know, it, as we make our way back, I mean, it's, it's way out there. Understand that. It's out by the 405. I do see a lot of brake lights out in that direction. But right now where we are by the Topanga Canyon Boulevard off-ramp and the 101 eastbound, you can see he's just moving by these cars extremely quickly, probably speeds about 75, 80 miles an hour. You know, these are the same types of speeds that he was using on the road uh, earlier on, but now he's on the free. Anyway, you can see LAPD has lined up their vehicles there. They've got uh, all, their, all their ducks in a row. They also have some other vehicles tracking on the roads nearby just in case this guy does stop, crash, or possibly does a, what they call a foot bail when he, when he gets out of the vehicle and starts running so that there are other officers in the area that are able to uh, stop him. Now, we did understand earlier that they were thinking possibly about using some of their, their tricks that they got in the bag, uh, some of the uh, pursuit intervention tactics. You know, uh, they're not going to pit this vehicle, obviously, because of the, the speeds. That's where they kind of come up behind the back and nudge it. But they were talking about possibly using spike strips if he was going to stay on the side streets, on the surface streets, and keep making those blocks. He hasn't done that. Now he's on the freeway, and you can see these speeds really picking up. You can see the cars, traffic starting to build out here. And I can tell you, as we get closer to the 405, there's going to be a lot more traffic and a lot more cars. This guy making erratic lane changes out here, and LAPD, even even starting to back off a little bit, probably because they're seeing these speeds, extra cars on the freeway, and they're starting to worry about public safety. Yeah, obviously. And, and Stu, as he moves eastbound, I would think he's getting closer. Is he exiting? He's getting off now, isn't he? He just exited right there. I'm, I'm going to, if I get a street here, I'll tell you, whoa, whoa. look at that. He made that sharp turn right there, right back on the Ventura Boulevard. And you, you saw that this is an older style Lexus. And you saw that big four-door sedan just making that big sweeping turn out there as he made that sharp, sharp turn. You know, we're going to try to get a little bit closer of a shot, but you can see he's just being kind of crazy out here and it seems like he's just kind of making a big u-turns uh, i'm not 100 percent sure where that plate for that car returns to sometimes they do that 
they, they just go ahead and they say, you know, we're going to figure out where this guy lives. We're going to back off mm -hmm. a little bit. But this being an armed robbery suspect, they're probably not going to do that. Again, uh, LAPD concerned about his speeds, concerned about, oh, look at that. That officer right there had some spike strips. He had him out. I'm not sure if he actually was able to make contact with the vehicle, but he definitely threw him out there. Yeah, they, they, get, it, they, the, they might have gotten him. Uh, go ahead, it's, go ahead, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to tell if they got him or not, but he uh, actually now it looks like he's still moving at a pretty good speed. It's hard to say whether or not they got yeah, him with you that know, strip. You know, we're going to try to get on. You know, we usually try to stay on the on the driver's side, but we're going to try to get on, on, the, uh, on, on the other side of the vehicle there so we can take a look. You know, those spike strips, basically what they are are like hollow nails. And what they do is when they puncture the tire, they stick in the tire and they let the air out very slowly. It's not like in the movies where the tire explodes. So if they, if they did do it, it's going to be a few blocks before we actually see if this tire starts uh, starts getting low. Again, if he did, it would have been on the passenger side. At least it appears that way. Again, unclear if they actually have worked, but you can see LAPD still in pursuit of this guy. We're back on Ventura Boulevard. We're approaching DeSoto once again. We're going to see if he try, does that same move and yeah. just gets back on the 101 freeway. Rob? Yeah, he's, he looks like he's moving in a loop now. We're going right back to places that we uh, have just seen. Our producer just pointed something out. It looks like the uh, left front side of that car, I don't know from your vantage point if you can tell, has he hit anything in this pursuit? Because it looks like there might be some damage well, to the know, left front side. Look at, look, did you, oh. yeah, there is definitely a little bit of damage on that car. We don't think that is from the pursuit, but you saw those crazy moves. He made, he made a couple of, look at this, look at this. He's coming up on, oh. there's cross oh. traffic, there's cars in the intersection. Fresh red just went right through there. Since he was here before, you'll notice that officers, LAPD, kind of planning this, kind of saying, you know what, he's been here before. They have uh, actually black and whites in the major intersection warning the public that this is going on again these are 70 miles an hour approaching Topanga Canyon and look mm. at these speeds a lot of cross traffic out Whoa. here looks like he's going to be making a, a, another right turn right there and you know he has an opportunity to get back on the freeway but uh, it, we don't know if he's going to make that move right now yeah he's not but he's not at that same exit that he uh, entered on uh, the last time now he's moving underneath the 101 freeway okay so now he's going to be on the north side of the 101 are we still in Woodland Hills uh, you know what? This is going to be like the Woodland Hills, uh, Topanga Canyon area. Okay. We are on Topanga Canyon Boulevard, and we are headed northbound right now. This is kind of the area where this whole thing started. But again, you can see it making a radical moves out here. Uh, high speeds, extremely high speeds for what's going on. I'm going to try to stay a little bit wider every time we get to an intersection, just because, look at that, look at that. you got cars waiting there, and we're back on Oxnard Boulevard. I believe this is Oxnard again, and we're going to be eastbound on Oxnard. He's, uh, yeah, he's moving again, pretty fast. How, how far behind him are the police at this point? Have, has he lost him at all? No, you know, LA, you can uh, you can kind of get a little bit of distance, and usually that's by the grace of LAPD because they don't want to crowd this guy. They don't want him looking in his mirror and seeing those cops right there and make those erratic moves. But uh, in this case, you know, he, whoa, look at that, Ooh. right there. That was almost a collision. Another solid red, a, a, an innocent person. This guy just cut right in front of him. Again, you know, you got to think New Year's Eve. People are out having mm -hmm. fun on oh. the wrong side of the Ooh. road for no apparent reason right there. Just blowing through these red lights, using the center lane. Again, you know, they're, they're talking about possibly using uh, just tracking mode. You can see a lot of LAPD out here this evening. They probably have extra patrol out because of New Year's Eve. And again, mm -hmm. they're just kind of getting out there. They're, they're checking out these intersections. The helicopter right now is going to be calling out the intersections to the ground units that are going to kind of keep tabs on them. Now, this has gone into an official what they're calling tracking mode. Believe me, by no means are they letting this guy go. But yeah. basically, they're just going to back off. They're going to give this yeah. guy an opportunity to maybe to catch his breath or make a move where he gets out of the car, and then they're going to catch him. We Yeah. And Stu, it looks like... Uh, we just got onto it. Uh, uh, go right ahead, Stu. No, no, no. This is, uh, I believe we're on Calvin. And uh, again, okay. this is a very residential neighborhood. His speeds have slowed down a little bit. 
uh, uh, kind of curvy out here. Mm -hmm. You see a lot more brake activity, but still blowing through these stop signs. You know, the thing about it is, you know, this guy, he can probably get away from those officers on the ground for a little bit, but that helicopter is going to follow him until this guy stops. And like and you again, said, Stu, they're you know, not going to... They're not gonna. They're not gonna just let him go because it was a felony. Uh, it, it could be a felony they're looking at him for. He's he's curbed there, um, and this this yeah. guy Stu is driving with no regard for anyone else. He's he's pretty much driving like he's got nothing to lose. So they the, the ground units have backed off, but the chopper is staying over his head. That's correct, right? Pretty much, exactly. But you saw there's black and whites all over this area right now. They are keeping tabs on this guy. They're not going to let this guy go. You saw that when he made that turn in this residential neighborhood. There was a black and white right there at the corner. He hit the curb. Uh, you know, he wasn't going that fast, probably not that much damage to that vehicle. But again, you know, it, it's starting to wear on this car, those high speeds and that heavy braking. So hopefully, uh, you know, it won't be a mechanical problem. Hopefully he will not crash. But again, he's driving through these residential neighborhoods in here in the uh, Woodland Hills area. Yeah. Again, he slowed down a little bit. Officers have backed off. But again, that light you're seeing right there, that's LAPD's helicopter. And uh, they are just keeping uh, real good tabs on him. He seems to be making... Uh, Staying in a neighborhood out here that he knows. You can see black and whites right there. Possibly that officer. Hmm. There we go. Those officers okay. right there just threw down spike strips again. And apparently, as I understand it, they might have actually had contact with the vehicle. So he might be, he might be losing some air here very yeah. shortly. The first one, I don't think, got him. But it, this one might have done it. There's somebody taking video there on the side of the road. The car is certainly uh, slowed down quite a bit. Well, now it seems like it might be picking back up again. Uh, Stu, is there any way to tell? It, it almost we can almost see those tires. Does it look like there's That's any? That's what damage? I was just trying to do, yeah. Rob. Yeah, no, I was just trying to push in there as best I could, just take a look and see if it's getting lower. Uh, it might have gotten a little bit lower. It looks like it got a little lower, but again, I can't tell you. His speeds haven't slowed down, and that's that's the problem right now, especially if he's, like you said, no regards for anybody. Now he has a flat tire. His car is going to be impaired. You know, again, these, these all these things, all these little items are starting to mount up. Hopefully this guy is going to get the idea and just pull over and stop, let LAPD do their business. Again, you can see the car slowing down here. Um, we're going to try to swap sides, possibly to get a better look. And, uh, wait a minute, let's see oh. what he does here. And we can maybe see, yeah, he definitely has flat, flat tires. He's got, uh, looks like both the passenger tires are flat. So uh, he's going to have a hard time maneuvering here. And, and well, this is when it gets a lot more dangerous, just too. Came off. Uh, we, yes. He just lost the yes, tire. definitely. Okay. And now, now he's now he he's riding on rims. You can see the spark there that we just saw. And this is this is when yep. Stewart gets really dangerous at this point. It very dangerous. You can see that heavy smoke coming out of the, the side right now, the passenger side. He has lost his wheel. He's going to start. Oh. Going to it's going to be very difficult to control that car, especially at these high speeds in the, in the areas. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. Look at he's fishtailing. He's going to he's going to lose it out here. And we, the only hope is that he will not hit it. It's somebody else's car. Again, he looks like he's going back into that same residential neighborhood. <laughs> and look at that. Look at the, that heavy smoke coming out of that wheel. He's got to be looking for this, a way to ditch uh, this car at this point. I mean, he's, he's, he's running on yeah, nothing now. This car, it, the car is coming apart. Heavy sparks. That's it. The car's done. Here he goes. He's going to jump out. There he goes. And he's running. And he seems like he's staying in, in, a, in a major street area here, not making much of an opportunity whoa, to get out of whoa, the way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Officers just cutting him off right there. Uh, hang on. Hang on. We're going to get. Here we go. Here we go. Here it comes. Here it comes. Boom! Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He has de definitely tackled them. They're going to go ahead. They're going to take him into custody. This is all coming to an end here in the Woodland Hills area. Rob? Yeah, it looks like and he might have been just alone in that car. Stu, did you see anybody else get out of that car? Nobody else that we understand was inside that car. As soon as I see this guy going into custody, I'm going to definitely check that car out, make mm. sure it didn't catch on fire. That's kind of my curiosity. But, again, they took this guy down. It, it, Beautiful tackle. They just took that guy down running, and now they're basically doing that uh, pile-on technique. They're going to cuff him and take him into custody. Oh.